everyone welcome to hello chris in this video i am going to show you the demo of verification activities before we get into practical if you want to understand what is testing and what are the testing product available in ui path so please check out the first practical session before we dive deep into the test suite we need to understand these verification activities one is verify control attribute verify expression and verify expression with operator which is available under the verification title in the activity panel let's drag and drop verify control attribute this activity assert the output of a given activity in related to a particular expression to verify it the activity tested with this activity must be inserted in the body of the activity and an expression and operator must be supplied in their respective properties field i have a use case here to test this verify control attribute i have a notepad application assume that which we developed and it's in under testing for example in this notepad i am going to check if the file menu is available or not if the file menu is available we have to say the test case is passed or if the file menu is not available we have to say the test case is failed in the development scenario how we will handle this we are going to get the text and verify it right yes the same we are going to try it now drag and drop get text activity into verify control attribute and capture the file menu this file menu text will be stored into value variable here you have an operator drop down list containing all the possible mathematical operators you can use to verify the output of the activity you can see available options here equality inequality greater than greater than or equal less than less than or equal contains rejects match then in the expression enter your expression against which you want to verify the output of the activity i will enter the file name here within double quotes or you can call the variable if you store the value in a variable everything is done go to the property panel look at here everything is set here we have take screenshot if fail option if set it true it takes a screenshot of the target process if the verification has failed we have another option take screenshot if succeed if set it true it takes a screenshot of the target process if the verification has been successful we have the alternative verification title option it specifies an alternative display name instead of the default one which is the verification activity name that shows up in orchestrator that will see it in a later while we publishing the test cases into orchestrator page then we have an output option here create a variable to see the results it's a boolean output if it says true the test case is pass if it says false the test case is failure drag and drop right line activity and call an output variable Let's run the process. Look at here in this output panel the message says verification passed. 
and the test case is pass. Let's change the expression to edit, then run the process. Look at here, in this output panel, the message says verification failed and the test case is failed. So this is how we need to verify the attribute using verify control attribute activity. In the same way, we will do the practice for other verification activities. drag and drop verify expression if verifies the truth value of a given expression an expression must be supplied in this expression field let's say i have an email subject i need to verify that whether the subject line contains the word invoice or not if the word contains invoice from the subject line i have to say my test case is pass or if the word not contain invoice from the subject line my test case is failed am i right drag and drop and assign activity create a variable to store the email subject In the expression field, call the expression that you validate the result. I will call the variable followed by dot contains, then add invoice keyword within an open close bracket. And convert this into uppercase so that you won't get upper lower case issues. Create an output variable Then add a right line activity Call the output variable to see the result Let's run the process. Look at here, in this output panel, the message says verification passed and the test case is passed. Let's change the expression to purchase order. Then run the process. Look at here in this output panel the message says verification failed and the test case is failure. Now move on to next verification activity that is verify expression with operator activity. This activity verifies an expression 
by asserting it against a given expression using an operator. Let's say I have two numbers and I need to add both the numbers and verify the result to the given expression. If the given number is equal to my result, I have to say my test case is pass. If the given number is not equal to my result, I have to say my test case is failure. Add two assign activities and create integer variable to store numbers. Then store the numbers. Add one more assign activity. To add those two numbers, create a variable and add those variables. Now go to first expression, then call the addition result variable, then select the operator equal. In the second expression, provide the matching expression value. Create an output variable. Then add a right line activity. Call the output variable to see the result. Let's run this process. Look at here, in this output panel, the message says verification passed and the test case is passed. Let's change the second expression, then run the process. The message says verification failed and test case is failure. I hope you are clear with these verification activities. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and support. Connect with us for more tutorials.